SAD STATISTIC AS WE END THE YEAR, SHOOTINGS AND VIOLENT CRIME HAVE SKYROCKETED IN CHICAGO. MORE THAN 750 MURDERS IN THE CITY OVER THE COURSE OF 2016. THAT IS MORE THAN NEW YORK CITY AND LOS ANGELES COMBINED. POLICE THERE NOW BRACING FOR WHAT COULD BE A BLOODY NEW YEAR'S WEEKEND. MIKE TOBIN LIVE FROM CHICAGO WITH MORE. MIKE, NICE TO SEE YOU. HOW MUCH WORSE IS IT THIS YEAR THAN LAST? Uh, as you mentioned, the rate of shootings, the rate of murders in the city of Chicago is absolutely dramatic, and uh, Chicago police do anticipate an uptick of violence with the holiday weekend. Spokesman says that's because you pour booze on top of this endless cycle of gangland vendettas. As of Thursday, Chicago police reported some 756 murders in the city of Chicago compared to 484 last year. That's an increase of 56%. 3,525 shootings versus 2,400 last year, an increase of 47%. An overwhelming number of the victims are black. Most of the shooting targets are documented gang members. The former Chicago police superintendent, Gary McCarthy, who lost his job in the wake of the Laquan McDonald videotape shooting, says the reason for the increase in the bloodshed is that policing has become politicized and cops are hamstrung. The politicizing of policing uh, is ending up killing more black lives. The number of police related shootings in this city is less than half of 1% of the shootings in the city of Chicago. So, what does that mean? 99.6% of the shootings are civilian on civilian, generally black on black. 80% African Americans are dying, and it's a 90% increase from two years ago. Now, Christmas weekend alone, a dozen people were killed. Eleven of the uh, shooting targets were uh, gangland vendettas. And the reason for the timing is that the gang rivals knew that the targets would be home. Leland? Uh, un unbelievable, Mike. Where, where is the outrage? Where are the demonstrators? We see them after police involved shootings. They never seem to come out when there's 11 or 12 people shot over Christmas weekend. Well, they'll be out this weekend, and Father Michael Flager, a well-known activist from the, uh, the bad areas of Chicago, is going to take the demonstration once again out of the troubled areas and take it to the glitz of Chicago's Magnificent Mile. Uh, they're supposed to haul some 700 caskets representing the people who have been killed in Chicago. I'm hoping first that we will be shamed by it and say, oh my God, this can't happen anymore. But then we will be shaken to do something. At least in the organizational stage, this demonstration is not supposed to be anti-cop. Father Flager, however, admits there's always a chance when you get a bunch of people that the message can get diluted. Leland? Yeah, we've seen that happen before in Chicago. Mike Tobin will be covering it all. Thanks, Mike. Stay safe this weekend.